if you're looking at a data set and you want to pick out a data value and identify what percentile that data value would represent, we have a formula for that. This formula looks like this. x plus 0.5y divided by n times 100. To use this formula, we need to find three things. We need to know the number of data values that are below the data value that we're investigating. We also need to know how many times our data value replicates in the data set, and we need to know the total amount of data. So we're looking at the 29 ages for Academy Award winning best actors, again ordered from smallest to largest for us. We know there's 29 ages, so the number of data values or the amount of data in our data set is 29. N is 29. X is the number of data values counting from the bottom of the data list, but not including the data value that we're investigating. So if we're looking at the data value 58, we want to find the percentile that that data value represents. We need to count how many data values are below that. So we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 data values that are below and not including 58. That's what x represents. Okay, now we need to find y. y is the number of times our data value replicates. Well, 58 only appears once, so y is equal to 1. Now that we have those three values, we can plug them into our formula to calculate the percentile. We need 18 for x plus 1 for y and 29 for n. All of that multiplied by 100 to convert it into a percent. Now we can do a little bit of simplifying here. I know 1 half times 1 is still 1 half, and if I add that to 18, that's just 18 and a half. So I have 18 and a half divided by 29, then multiplied by 100. We can pull our calculator out for that. 18.5 divided by 29 multiplied by 100 and I get the value 63.79. We don't talk about percentiles as fractions or decimals, so what we're going to do here is round that result to the nearest integer. Integers are whole numbers, positives and negatives. We're looking at a positive 63.79. The 7 in the tenths place tells us to round up to 64. So we're going to round up to 64. That tells us that 58 is the 64th percentile. So P64 is equal to 58. Let's do another one. Let's try to find the percentile for 25. We're still looking at 29 ages, so n is still 29. We need to find the data values below the data value 25, and we need to find the number of times the data value 25 appears in our data set. So looking at our list, we can see 25 right here. There are only three values below it, so x would be equal to 3, and 25 appears exactly once, so y would be equal to 1 plug that into our formula. We have 3 is 1 half times 1, 29 times 100, or we can say 3 and a half divided by 29 times 100. That comes out to be about 12.07. Again, that's not a nice whole number like we use for per percentiles, so we're going to need to round that. The zero in the tenths place tells us to round 12.07 down to 12. That means that the 12th percentile, or P12, is what the data value 25 represents. So again, just to summarize, we can use this quick formula to calculate the percentiles of different data values in a data set. All we need to do is count the number of values below the one that we're looking at and the number of times that that data value repeats. 
Also, we need to know the number of data values in the data set, plug those things into our formula, and then round the result. 